Mm-hmm. Hello, my name is Bernie Sanders and I'm still running for president although it is no longer possible for me to win the nomination because of Secretary of State Hillary Clinton winning 10 times more super delegates more than I do. She is already the Democratic presumptive nominee. I'm also an actor, comedian, producer and writer who created both the sitcom Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm. I was originally cast to play the role of Grandpa Pickles on the Rugrats in 1991 and then they wanted me to play Stu and Drew Pickles Uncle Bernie Pickles but I decided to run for U.S. Congress instead. At the ripe old age of 74 years old, I'm one of the oldest politicians ever in history to run for president. This will not happen but if I had been elected I would have been the first time since you. As president to use a wheelchair since Franklin Roosevelt, I would be the first U.S. president in office to have Alzheimer's for the first time since the late 1980s with Ronald McDonald Reagan. I believe the minimum raise should be raised to $15 an hour then $20 an hour after that. I believe all college students should go to all colleges and universities for free for life. I believe every college, university, Private school, even every preschool in the entire United should be free for each and every single student. Today I accept the endorsement from the senior Barney Bunch with these fellow old men, elderly grandpas younger than me, mascots, retired mascots older younger than me, frail old cartoons characters younger than me. I especially thank you my good old swell pal Pickles. Haha, <laughs> that evil anti-gay Canadian Ted Cruz dropped out of the presidential race. Finally you dropped out of the 2016 presidential race, you foreign Canadian immigrant. In order to run for president of the United States you have to be born in the United States. What the hell this man was born in Calgary, Canada and used his mommy as a lie to be an American fool. Now I'm raping the ever living fuck out of you for bad talking gay people. Now you're being fucked in the ass to buy a man because you bad talked gay people. Your wife finally admitted you're an immigrant from Canada. Fool.